Welcome to Spitfire Mods. This is our programming your rework station uh, video. And what we're going to cover is rework stations and pro putting in the program of your rework station for, uh, for your profile. Alright, so this unit is one of our pretty, this is a pretty common uh, foreign unit. It's not a, uh, not one we highly recommend, but it's a good cheap alternative to um, the more expensive units. And it's pretty much, it's an HR6000, same controls as an IR6000, uh, both Scottle, Hanton, uh, ACHI, any unit that has the multi-stage uh, PC410 along with a lower hot air, fixed uh, hot air unit. This one is a Polish unit, you can basically just set the value you want, um, you know, set, pick the digit, set the amount, and then you know, push set and it's and that's what it's going to do. Um, as far as the bottom unit, the PC410, you have 10 partitions, so you have 10 different profiles you can store from 0 through 9. Uh, if you take one, we're going to push the set program button and then you're going to have your R1 value, you're going to have your L1, your D1, and then your R2, your L2, your D2, and you're going to basically be able to go through your profile. Um, so the question is, what's R1, what's L1, what's D1, what, what do those values mean? Basically, um, and, and with any of the profiles on the other machines, you, it would be simpler typically um, than this unit, but your R1 is your ramp rate, and most machines have the ramp rate built in, so you don't usually have to set that. So your R1 will be your ramp rate. Typically, it's going to be between 1 and 3 degrees per second. So on the IR6000 or the HR6000, uh, 3 is fine for your R, R values, and it's going to be the same for all your R values. So all your R values will typically be set to 3. Your L1 is your target temperature, and your D1 is your time you're going to go to that temperature. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, You want to set your you want to set your values. You're going to want to set your values and uh, and program your machine. So again, if you go into the set values, you're going to have an R1 and L1 and a D1, and then you're going to go to your next stage. You're going to have R2, L2, D2. So R1, L1, D1, and then over to R2, L2, D2. Those are your different stages. So if you have your profile, um, if you bought a profile from Spitfire Mods, you're going to have those stages on on your sheet. And again, your um, your your only two really important. The R value is typically set to three, so that one's an easy one, and it's always set to three, no matter what stage you're in. So your D your D value and your L value is your dwell time and your temperature. So your L value is going to be the temperature for that stage and then your D will be your dwell time or the time you want it to take to get to that to that temperature. So following your profi profile sheet, you're going to go ahead and key those in. Um, typically you're going to select the partition you want and then you're going to press the set program button or uh, you know enter button, then you're going to you're going to enter your parameter and then you're going to hit parameter set and then you're going to go to the next one, you're going to enter that program set and you're going to go through that whole process and repeat that until you get to your last value. If there's a value in there and you don't have a value for that phase, you're just going to set it to zero or or you know, blank it out so that it ends the profile. And by setting those values to zero, that will terminate the profile at that phase. And that's pretty much it. Um, setting each unit individually is going to vary, but uh, you're going to be programming your time for your stage and your temperature for each stage of the profile and once you get them all entered uh, that will make up the entire profile. Once that's set and your and your lower heater has been programmed to the proper temperature you can select the profile that you keyed in. If you were on one you would select that and then you can start your machine and it will run the profile that you keyed in. Once you have that in there you can continue to the rest of the videos on the series and they will show you how to calibrate your machine and test that out. Uh, you're specifically going to be setting your lower heater um, on and zeroing out these values. You can't zero them out. You're going to need to put the times in, but you can just fudge the, uh, the temperatures down to like 1 or 10 or whatever the minimum your controller allows you to. But put your dwell times in there for the profile and then set your lower heater and run that. And that will just run your bottom heater only with nothing really coming out of your top heater so that you can actually measure your preheater and make sure your 
preheater is calibrated right or that your lower sensor is is doing the proper job and uh, and you'll see that in one of our other videos series so this is our programming uh, video thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of the videos in the series